we've seen some strong traffic growth month over month. And so, yeah, we're up to, you know, over, you know, over 10,000 page views a month, which I think is, is awesome. Uh, my name is Eric Tozier. I live in the United States, uh, Minnesota. And the website that uh, I built using the WP RSS aggregator plugin is called personalfinanceblogs.com. So um, me and two friends, we decided that, hey, let's try and do content curation in the personal finance space. But what we wanted to do is provide a visually appealing um, feeds feeds feature because that was something that wasn't um, done very well in the personal finance space. A lot of people had feeds, but these different sites that had the feeds features, it'd just be a list of links. And um, for the user, that's not a great, um, a, a great user experience. This one was the, the most documented one and the one with the most features as well. And it also had the stuff that I wanted to do, which was um, the keyword filtering. That was one premium feature that we bought as well as um, on the feed to post so that we can kind of, uh, we, we filter out we, um, with the plugin. You can define um, filters based on different keywords so let's say that you only wanted to have posts that included the word budget. You can do that with the plugin and we wanted to do that. So originally all I needed and all I wanted um, was to get access to the data of, okay, I want titles and I want the links and I want who it's coming from. So I did end up uh, hiring um, a developer through their, they work with a contracting company um, to add on a couple of custom fields so that um, then I could include and figure out how to include um, like Twitter handle and um, Facebook URL and, and blog name within kind of the metadata of each post coming through. So um, once I figured that out, then I was then I was really happy because I had all the data there. And then once you have all the data, then delivering the data to the viewer becomes much easier. Once you have all that data, you don't need to do a lot of uh, processing or anything once you have it there. So once I was able to get that done, um, then it was like, okay, this is this is this is great. This is fantastic. We launched end of July, about July 29th or so. So it's been about four and a half months. And in terms of uh, traffic in November, we had 15,000 page views and throughout the day there, they update. So then you can get any new content that's coming in um, throughout the day, which I, which I think is, is awesome. So we've seen some strong traffic growth month over month. And so, yeah, we're up to, you know, over, you know, over 10,000 page views a month, which is, which is great for a, a new blog, but also just any blog in general. Once you hit that level, then um, we, we haven't thrown ads on, but once you do throw ads, you can make, you know, a couple hundred bucks a month. So I think we're excited for that coming up. Um, so then in terms of other numbers, uh, our email list, we just hit 200 emails, email subscribers, and then um, in terms of the traffic as well, we're sending about 150 clicks to various posts and blogs on a daily basis. Support's been great. Uh, I think just through their website, they have a knowledge base, which is pretty comprehensive. And then, you know, um, sending messages to their developers or you know, to even um, to set up this interview, messaging with the CEO. I mean, it seems to be the communication was great and really helpful.